First, let's not beat around the bush. If you're watching this, you've probably heard of or should have already heard of L.A. Noir. It's great. It's not perfect, but it boldly tried something weird and different, and sometimes it got it right, and other times it got it wrong. Additional note, if you're going to play this game, do not play it in a stream to start. This game is not entertaining to watch, though it is good looking. It is not action packed, though there is a lot going on. It is a very cerebral experience to play this game, and it requires that you pay a lot of attention. In order to explain my love-hate relationship with this game, I need to explain what is the breaking point for me, and why the breaking point is my fault and not the game's. First of all, the game relies on the facial expressions of the suspects versus the objective information that you have. Your observations are what will drive this and this game does not hold your hand in that regard. If you are drinking while playing this game or not paying attention, you're going to have a bad time because it requires a lot of focus. Sometimes I will choose doubt when I really want is to be lie and Cole will say something else entirely. This is because you and I are not paying attention closely enough to the development of the character and the protagonist. You see, in between each of these missions are these little flashbacks to Cole's life. These are just as important as the game because they are instructionals for what Cole believes and what he means to say. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. So you need to define what Cole means in order to know what the actions you play as him will entail. When will he be aggressive? When will he be passive? You need to analyze him as much as the case. Lies, lies, and more lies, Morgan. You know where he is. And I think the game is great in that regards. Cole is a great character study, and for the most part, the cases are interesting as well, even though there were plenty of hiccups for me along the way, but it does forgive you for being a fuck-up at times. The mechanics of the game, the look of the game, and the character building of Cole are all great. Now here's my biggest gripe with Rockstar Games, not the game itself, that remains a staple of their games, and one of the reasons why their series never really click with me. When you are writing characters of a certain background or from a certain era, racism, bigotry, and ignorance are not traits of character development. When you are flinging racial slurs and hate speech around for characters, there's a big difference in the way that you guys do it and the way that films like American History X or Do the Right Thing do it. You throw these terms out there and let them impact like the words themselves will do the world building for you. But to people who are uninitiated with these terminologies, it seems like it's taboo. And for the people who are initiated with it, it seems like you're trying too hard. I personally cringe at the scenes with the Jewish business owner. He keeps throwing out these racist terms because it's just so fucking obvious and I don't even know how to handle this criticism. Was it purposeful on your part as writers to teach us how to use the mechanic that this guy is obviously hung up on it? Could there have been a different way you could have exemplified that? It just makes the characters seem blatantly two-dimensional. And this is the end of the rant. Check out L.A. Noir, because it is an experiment and on the upper echelon of adventure games.